Hey guys, Trun here, and welcome to this video on how to increase FPS for CSGO. Now, I'm going to show you tips in-game and outside of the game, which everything, all the links will be in the description. Um, but, yeah. So right now, on the bottom of the screen, you can see I have FPS. Uh, to get that, you can go to Escape, Help Options, uh, Game Settings, and enable developer console to yes and then right above the tab on your keyboard press that and then you can do net underscore graph one and to take it off net underscore graph zero but I'm just going to keep it on uh, one so I can see the FPS and I want to show you the big difference so this is everything on high right now and I'm getting 60 FPS basically with recording um, so it's running okay, but it I hate motion blur and I want it to go at least over 120. And when I'm not recording, I get about 160 FPS, but now I'm going to show you the best settings to use when in game. Now a lot of if you can run on all the high quality, then by all means go ahead, but if you like right now I can run it. I can run it on all the highest quality, but I choose not to because I want more FPS and I don't want it to be only 60 and lower. So anyways, global shadow quality, put that on uh, very low. Then model such texture detail, I put it on uh, medium. It's really up to you, it doesn't really make a difference. But effect detail, I put it on low. Because I don't really see that much of a difference. I hate shades, like the shader. So I put that on low. Um, Multi-core rendering. Put it on, I put it on enabled because I have four uh, CPUs. Or I have multiple CPUs, so I have multi-core CPUs. Um, Multi-sampling. Uh, I'll put that on none. Texture filtering. Uh, you can put it on trillionaire or anastropic two times so I'm just gonna put it on that um, FX AA anti Eliza I don't even know how to pronounce that um, I put it on enabled keep it the same and um, wait for vertical sync put that on disabled because it keeps your FPS on 60 it like locks your frame rate on 60 so that you do not want that and for God's sake disable motion blur it's annoying and you can barely see so, um, I'm going to click apply and I'll be right back. As you can see right off the bat, my FPS increases by a bunch, getting over about 130, 120 while I'm recording. When I'm not recording, again, like I said, I got like a 30 or 40 more FPS. But it's looking pretty great, running way smoother, and I hate motion blur. It's just easier to see. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to show you tips outside of the game now, and um, it will increase the FPS even more. Alright guys, now that I'm outside of the game, I'm going to show you tricks that you can use with this. So, first of all, update drivers. I have NVIDIA driver right there. It says my GeForce driver is up to date, and you can check for updates by clicking that. Go in the description below, and download this app which is unpark cpu app um so you just open up unpark cpu and you check you click check status so csgo uses a lot of your cpu and it sometimes hesitates to use your full 100 percent cpu so this basically forces csgo to use all of your cpus so as you can see i have two cpus and then um, status, make sure you click unpark all, which that will make your CPU 100% um, instead of using like only half of it. Another thing to do to help increase your FPS is um, park control. So, or control CPU. It's uh, CPU parking and frequency scaling. So basically just open this up after downloading it, which will be in the description 
like everything will be in the description so what you should do is um, make sure this is on high performance make sure everything is disabled and a hundred percent and then click apply and okay and then this is four out of four cores make sure you're using all of your cores so if it's three out of four or seven out of eight make sure it's four of four or eight of eight go into steam and go into your library and right click on a game in properties or CSGO and click set launch options now copy and paste this code right here down in the description don't worry about language banana gaming because that's a video um, so just copy and paste it right here Act like this is not there um, and then high threads there should be an X right there change it to how, however many cores you have so I have four just change it to four and then click OK and close so that's basically it guys that will increase your FPS by a bunch so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time and uh, tell me in the description if it worked for you it worked for me so hopefully this helped you and thanks for watching bye bye